In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CINAHL headings in CINAHL in order to do an effective search. As you know, the CINAHL headings are the controlled vocabulary of the CINAHL database and will enable you to get a search in which the articles are more relevant to uh, the topic that you're searching on. In order to use them, you need to access the CINAHL database. From the front page here, you can actually um, access it in one of two ways. You can come up here to the to the blue bar and click on CINAHL headings and search it that way. Or you can come right here and check this box, which I feel is a more preferred way because it's just easier. It's less clicks and it's always more clear to me. By clicking this box or going into where it says CINAHL headings here in the blue, I'm no longer looking for articles. When I type something in this box, say sugar, what's going to happen when I hit the search bar is I'm no longer going to find articles, but are going to be matched up with the CINAHL heading that is most related to the term that I'm looking for. So when I click search, the database goes through the controlled vocabulary of the word list and says sugar. Well, there isn't a CINAHL heading for sugar, but if you're looking for that, what you need to use is carbohydrates. So if I go down the tree here, I can come to carbohydrates. I can click on it. And what you'll now notice is it turns blue. I have the options to explode or do a major concept. And if I'm not real sure what the uh, term means, I can come over here and click on this dialog box, which is called a scope note and it will tell me what the word means. This can be important because sometimes depending on the database you're in, the way you might define the word, a way that you're familiar with, may not be the way the database does. And so I look at it quite often. If it is in fact the uh, way you would define it and you want to use it, you can just click this off and you'll notice that when I clicked here and selected it, it showed up over here. Now what you'll also notice here is in this blue area, these are subheadings. They're going to be the way that you can further focus your search. And you'll notice they also have dialog boxes next to them, which will also give you some uh, further information. The other important thing to know when you are looking here is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a used for field, which will also inform you of uh, other ways or other terms that will be classified under carbohydrates. Like because we were looking for sugar, what you'll notice is that sugar is one of the uh, terms that carbohydrates is used for. So if sugar or carbohydrate or sugars is showing up in an article, they're all being classified under carbohydrates. Now if I want to search it, I can just go ahead and hit search the database. And now I have 1400 articles on carbohydrates and you can see that here and you can also see the results over here on the left now from there uh, you know I may want to I may be interested in how carbohydrates or sugar um, is related to obesity and so I can go in here and put obesity in the box check the box again it says suggest subject terms and then hit search when I do that Again, I'll get a set of, of terms returned to me in, relevant, in relevancy order, in which now I can click and select obesity. You'll notice it shows over here on the right. And I still have those same choices where I can see all the subheadings. Then if I want to search for obesity, I can click on search database. And now you'll see I have a whole set of articles, 41,000 in fact which you can see in the view results here as well as over here on the left um, and which are just talking about the issue of obesity now if I want just the articles that are discussing uh, carbohydrates and obesity I need to put these two terms together in order to do that the first thing I need to do is go above the screen line and click clear and I will tell you that the best policy to, to have is before you do anything below this green line here, make sure that you clear above it because it does not automatically clear and you'll sometimes search for things that you did not intend. Now I can go here 
and select each one of these terms and then combine it with and or or depending on what I'm wanting to do in this case because I want there to be a relationship a direct relationship between them I'm gonna click and and the database will search for any article in which obesity and carbohydrates are uh, subject headings and you'll notice from the database that I now have a hundred and six articles now with these hundred and six articles one of the nice things is in CINAHL it's already in um, an abstract format where you can see the abstract you'll also notice that if you would like the full text of these articles that there is a get it at VCU button that appears occasionally if the article is already in full text within the CINAHL database you'll also have the option to just automatically get the uh, full text PDF or the full text HTML by clicking here but if it's not full text here if you click on the get it at VCU button what that, that what that will enable you to do is to connect to our electronic subscriptions um, it'll also let you know that if we don't have it electronically whether or not we have it anywhere in the library and you will also have the option if we don't have it at all to then go ahead and request it through interlibrary loan and that is how you do a CINAHL heading search in CINAHL